Good morning. Hello. Will I see you today? Uh, <laughs> Good morning, Miss. Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Is that Ness Rain? Ness Rain, I don't remember what you look like. I've forgotten. Yes. Good morning, Monica. Good morning. It's a beautiful Monday morning. Monday. Mm -hmm. I'll share with you our agenda for today. So what have you guys been doing? Monica, what did you do on the weekend? I worked. <laughs> oh, you work in a restaurant, right? Yeah. Where where is that restaurant? Where is it located? It's um Verner Street. It's one um is it in like um Mexican town? Yeah. Okay, I think you said that. Near the um Ambassador Bridge. Mhm. Mm kind of. Yeah. All right. How how many hours do you work there, Monica? Six hours. Six hours, like a week. I do like morning shifts. Mhm. Mm like, like four days a week. Okay, six hours, four days a week. So it's like part time job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Rahim, I don't remember. Do you did you say you're working now? Yeah. Where do you work? Remind me, I forgot. Uh, Focus Wagon dealership. Oh yeah, you're the, yeah. It's hard for me to remember which face goes with which description. <laughs> I read it and I didn't hear you say it. Yes, you work at the Volkswagen, right? How's yeah. that going? Is that going okay? No. Yeah. yeah. Do you work on the weekends there or during the week or both? No, during the week. So you have your weekends free? Yeah. All right. That's good. You can get your schoolwork done, right? That's always where I do the homework. Yeah, that makes sense. Nesrain, are you, um, you're the one, you're working a lot now, aren't you? If I yeah. Remember. How's that going for you? It's terrible. I work six days a week. Oh, man. And then you come home and you do your homework at night? <clears throat> I work on that uh, from 2, 2 p.m. until 12. That's right, that's right. So you do your homework in the morning, maybe? Yeah. 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 All Good right. morning. How are you? Good morning, buddy. How are you doing? All right. Thank you. Sounds like you're getting better. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're, you're talking with us, so that's good. Um. Let's see. You know what? You guys probably, I noticed that um, I don't really look at the chat to, to check you in. So thank you for doing that. But as I've been, um, as I've been uh, doing this class, I just check you off on my list and I notice who comes late. <laughs> um, you can keep putting your name in there if you want, but actually I don't. Like it, so I just remember, I just look at who's in the class. And I need to. Do we have to meet in Friday? Uh, there's a question mark there. Oh, I'll optional. It's yeah. I'll tell you about it in just a second when I um. When I go over our agenda together, I'm just waiting for a couple more people. Let's mm -hmm. see. Good morning, Joanna. Good to see you today. Good morning. Thank you. Mandal is here. I'm just going to give them another minute. Most of coming. That's good. Okay, so here is our agenda for today. You may have noticed that over the weekend we got some cool weather. So 
that's telling us that fall is here. And um, I really love the fall personally because we have cooler weather. I don't like hot weather. And fall colors with the trees changing all those beautiful colors, red, orange, yellow, brown, even. And bonfires that you can have to warm up with and um, good weather to wear sweaters and take walks and do things outside without being so hot. And in fact, we even turned on our heat today. So um, it's definitely fall. So you may know that the word fall is another word for autumn. Most people in conversational English don't uh, use use autumn, but fall. Autumn is kind of an older word, and um, fall is a newer, I don't know, more common way to say it. So fall is here. Fall is a noun um, because the, the, tr the leaves are falling off the trees, I suppose. So you can call it autumn or you can call it fall, but both of them are referring to cooler weather, fall, the colors, the leaves falling off the trees, Usually uh, fall, it refers to September, October, and November. Those are the fall months. And Michigan, as you know, has four very um, separate seasons. So you notice the difference throughout the year. Unlike in Florida, where the seasons are not so um, separate or distinct. So um, here's what I did this last weekend. I was asking you what you did. Some of you worked and some of you did your schoolwork. Um, my church had a camp out and this is the first time we did this. Um, oh, Nesrae, nice to see your face. Oh, you're gone again. <laughs> there you are. I love your red curtains. Hey, it really helps me to see your face. Um, so at my church, we um, camped and what I mean by camp is some of us had tents and we set them up in the backyard of the church. Our church has a lot of property and um, we slept there for Friday night and Saturday night. And then during the day we um, had meals together. We made our meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Um, we had teaching from the Bible, from our pastor and other leaders. And at night we had bonfires and it was so awesome. Um, so this is one of the bonfires we had. And this is um, my husband actually playing guitar. We had um, different people playing music, singing, and it was really wonderful to be outside, to be together safely outside. And um, it was really awesome. So if you ever get a chance to go camping in Michigan, this was camping next to a church, which is kind of unusual. Usually people go camping out in, you know, nature. Have any of you gone camping before with a tent? No? Ms. Rain, have you gone camping before? No, not, not in here. Not here. In your country? Yeah, I did. Okay. A couple of do you use tents that look like this, or is it a little bit different? It's different than here. Okay. Yeah. Um, so usually when we talk about camping, we have a tent, or some people have a trailer that they, that they have like a small, um, small trailer they attach to their car or their um, van, and then they pull that, and then they open that and some of them have bathrooms inside of it but this is more traditional camping with tents anybody else do that I think right. most, most of them uh, are the truck driver they're truck. almost camping yeah um hold on a second here i'm sorry hanan is texting me and saying she needs to be let in. <laughs> Where is she? I don't see her. Uh, truck drivers, but truck drivers usually sleep in their truck, I think, don't they? Uh, the bigger truck, yeah. But yeah, the yeah. smaller one, no. Right. I wouldn't really, yeah, I guess that's camping, but it's camping because... Especially if they have the, their own truck. 
that's company just right that's true camping usually we think of as a vacation though um <laughs> if you're if you're truck driving and you're sleeping in your truck or trailer that's kind of work right just a second i need to respond to hanan because she says she's in here but i don't see her um Okay, I don't think she's in the waiting room. Let's see, where is the waiting room? There's nobody here from, like, let me just check over here. No, I don't see her. Okay, hopefully she can make it. Um, so that's what I did this weekend. It was really fun. It was really kind of cold, but um, nice and good to get out. So I just like to give you some information about me, what people do in Michigan, and even what people do with their churches, although this was unusual. Most people don't camp at their church, but oftentimes with their church, they might have a uh, weekend away or um, a weekend retreat and spending time together. Um, so today we're going to, I'm gonna remind you about plagiarism, uh, talk about your test for just a minute and then um, actually after that we'll do the novels and talk about your novels and you can go um, in a breakout group to talk with some other students about that and then I'll introduce to you the vocabulary for unit two and then we'll talk about meeting up in a park I thought if anybody is interested it's optional and uh, we can talk about that if you're interested in doing it at the end of class. So I wanna remind you about um, plagiarism. Plagiarism is when you copy um, something from the internet, you cut and paste, or you copy the same words, um, part of a sentence, or a complete sentence, or a complete paragraph. Um, and that's a kind of cheating. So I noticed on the last discussion that there's a few people who thought, oh, I'm going to learn, go to an elephant website and uh, get some information about elephants and then paste it into my discussion. But that is cheating. And if you do that, you have a zero. Um, the first time you do it, I'll give you a chance to do it again. The second time, you have a zero. Um, and the third time I have to report you to the Dean because we take this very seriously. Um, it's a kind of lying, um, cheating, and American colleges and universities are very strict and serious about students being honest, which is good um, because if you are cutting and pasting, you are not, well, first of all, you're you're taking somebody else's words. You're stealing somebody's words. Um, if you want to cut and paste some interesting information, what do you do um, to show that you're not stealing? Type the link. Quote. Uh, Nesrin, what you answer me, Nesrin. I said quote. Right. So you have to put it in quotes if you're cutting and pasting or copying words from a book or an article or a, even a listening thing. You have to put it in quotations and say where it's from. So according to uh, Mr. Brown in his article about elephants, he says, and then you put it in quotations, and then it's legal, it's honest, and you're not stealing. Um, so you need to um, write your own words, or if you want to use a quotation, sometimes that's appropriate, then use the quotation marks. Um, but I, I want you to learn this this semester, because when you go to next semester and other classes and other colleges, um, I want you to be honest and uh, responsible students. So um, does anybody have a question about that? about what's cheating or what's not cheating. Okay, so um, if you did have some uh, form of plagiarism that I noticed, because guess what, you know what, when you're ESL students, if you have a perfect sentence, 
perfect grammar, vocabulary that seems a little bit high for you, then I, I know that you're probably, you're probably um, copying it from the internet. So I just go to Google, I just Google the same words, and then I find the same website that you got it from. So um, it's not hard for me to find. Um, what was I going to say about that? So make sure that if you if uh, look at your discussions, it usually for you guys, this is happening in the discussion part where you need to write your own paragraph. So look, look in the discussion for my comments and my response. And if I say, you know what, you, I noticed you cheated on this, you have a zero, you can write it again, write it again. Um, or if um, you uh, are doing this the second time, then you'll have a zero. Okay, Hanan is still trying to enter. I wonder why you guys all were able to get on here. Um, I see, she's, she's clicking on the wrong thing. Okay, just a minute. You need... <sighs> okay, this is hard for me to... I should send her a link. She's not clicking on the right thing and uh let me just send this through our sorry this is really annoying um i'm going to put this on remind for her so that she can do it okay all right, so that's about plagiarism. Um, yes, unit test. Um, so I noticed that almost all of you took the test. There were two people that didn't, and I think those two people are not here. Um, so all of you took that are here took this test, and um, uh, I haven't looked at it yet. I looked. I looked briefly at a couple just to make sure that you guys were doing it correctly. Um, so I'll look at that test today and just wondered, um, well, I looked at the times. Most of you did the vocabulary test in 30 minutes-ish and the reading test was a bit longer. Some of you did 45 or 50 minutes. So you had plenty of time um, and I will be grading those today and tomorrow so you can look at your feedback and your grade um tomorrow i should have those finished i'll i'll probably work on them and finish it today do you have any questions or problems or comments about the test yes it shows me 100 and both of them i don't know how you oh, grade. that's because i graded yours you did yours early so i just i looked at yours to see <laughs> i looked at yours to see like did did my students understand how to do this so yes rendala Congratulations, you got on. Thank you. Oh, yes. Randala, I have a feeling that you've done a lot of reading in your past, so I think reading is, is not a very hard subject for you. Am I right? Yeah, so good for you. And others, I hope that you uh, also did as well, but you know, there's usually a range between 70 and 100 of uh, different people's levels, so. I will check that with you. Um, I hope the directions were clear enough and um, at least Rendell and Monica, the two people that I looked at, seem to understand what to do. So if, uh, I'll talk to you more about it on Wednesday if I find that there was some problems with it. Um, I'm still trying to help Hanan get in here. <sighs> and this is hard to do while I'm trying to teach a class. Um, is it possible for anybody to send the link to Hanan on your WhatsApp group? Because at least I'm trying to teach this class and it's annoying for me to do this while I'm teaching. Rendala, you you taking care of that? I see that you're looking at your phone. Thank you. If you can send her the link 
she doesn't have the right link for this and she's trying to get in. And I will tell her that on here. Hanan is not in the group. Oh, okay. <laughs> she is having a lot of trouble getting into the groups. And things. So uh, I sent her the link, but it's too long. So, okay, just give me one more second here. I'm gonna try one more time. Um, okay. But it's too long, so it's not letting me put it in remind because it's too long. Now I have to delete a lot of stuff. Yeah, it would be helpful. I'm try to send in remind. Uh, but you can't. You can't write. You can't send it to Hanan on remind. Unfortunately, I can only send messages. But I think I got it. I think I got it now. I don't know. It's too long for me, so it's not doing it. <clears throat> I sent her a message on HFC online. Yeah. Okay. It's just, yeah, I don't want to take time doing that. So I'll have to talk to her afterwards. She's pushing something that's not the right link, and she's having trouble with everything on her computer. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you but to send it to okay. Yeah, well, you send it to me, so then I can send it to her. Fine. Okay. This is crazy. <laughs> Thank you, Bashir. That's nice of yeah. you. Um, so if I copy that, there's a lot of steps here. Okay. We'll see if that works. I don't know. I'll talk to her after. All right. So um we talked about this, we talked about this. Now, um, I wanna talk to you about a few things with your novel. Um, I'm going to share with you a blackboard so that I can, or whiteboard, so I can teach you some new vocabulary words about your novel. Um, so I noticed, I just looked really quickly before class today that um, most of you did your reading log. In fact, all of you that are here today did your reading log. And so I hope that you are getting into your book and enjoying it and learning something. Um, I wanna teach you a few words that have to do with literature. So um, next semester, the next semester, you may take English 131, not next semester, but maybe next year, you'll take English 131, which is a literature class where you read a lot of things like um, novels, poetry, um, short stories, and maybe even plays. And those are all things that are in the category of literature. Do you guys know that word literature? You might. Yes. It might be similar in error. I'm not sure. Okay, Hanan got in. Yay. Um, so, um, all cultures have literature, and literature are the things that kind of make a culture, right? And I love literature. In fact, when I was in college, I majored in literature. So I, um, I really love reading about um, different cultures' literature as well. So um, with literature, we have a couple words, just a couple words I'm going to teach you today. You may know them already, um, but one of them is setting. Does anybody know this, that word? Here's how you Here's use how it. You use it. Um, what uh, is of your novel? So the place, the time. Uh, you're right, Rendala. So the setting, and this is going to be a question on your quiz coming up today. The setting is the place and time uh, that your story, we say, takes place. 
So where is it taking place and when is it taking place? The place and time. That's the setting of a novel or the setting of a movie, the setting of a story, the setting of a play. Um, where is it being set up, basically? And um, so you guys all have, uh, well, there's about four different novels that you're reading and they all have different settings. Um, you're gonna talk about that in your breakout group in a minute, but it means the place and the time. Um, so what country is it taking place or what area is it taking place? What city is it taking place? Is it taking place in the country, like outside in the wild? Or is it taking place in a city, in uh, a suburb, um, in uh, a small house or a big house? Um, the setting can be something as big as the country, or it can be even describing the house or the um, neighborhood that the story is taking place. Um, the time is talking about um, the year or the date or the time period. Sometimes in some stories, you don't know um, what is the time period. So you have to guess based on the context, right? Is this taking place, are, are there people riding horses and there's no electricity? Probably it's one or 200 years ago or more, right? If the people have airplanes and cars and electricity and cell phones, then you know it's taking place sometime around this time period. Maybe you don't know exactly when, but modern times, um, this time period, these days. Um, the place, the time could be a season. It could be summertime, wintertime. Um, it could be um, even some stories take place in one day is the time, uh, September 11th, 2001. Maybe there's a story taking place on, on that day in history. So um, you might not know the date of your novel, but you might know the time period during World War II, after World War II, um, before the American Revolution. So you um, think about that and you're going to talk about that with your classmates in a moment. The second thing I want you to talk about with your classmates is the characters. Who are the characters in your novel? Okay, can somebody else other than Rendala answer that question? Does anybody else know what a character is? Yeah. Yes, Rain, what do you think? The, the people who's in the story. Exactly. So when we talk about um, stories, we use the word characters because usually they are, well, in a fiction story, the characters are fictional. They're made up, imagined in someone's mind. Um, so we call them characters. And you can have characters in short stories, characters in plays, characters in movies, characters in all kinds of literature. Um, to be more specific, usually there's a main character. That's the one who is doing most of the action in the story. Maybe they're telling the story using I. Um, and then there are also minor characters. And the minor characters are the ones who are appearing in the story, but not with um, the focus. Now, sometimes we have main characters. There might be um, one or two or three main characters. And uh, you may have many minor characters, or you might have zero char minor characters, like in the book Hatchet. There are not very many characters in that book, right? Uh, Randala and Bashir are reading that book. Only one, Brian. Yeah, well, there is another one that you read in the first chapter. The pilot. Right, but Jake. Which, Jake. his name was Jake. Is that it? Okay, I forgot. Um, so in your book, for sure, Brian is the main character. And there are, there is one minor character in the first chapter, but 
he dies. So he's very minor, right? Um, only in the first chapter. Now, would you call, Rendella, would you call the mom and dad, um, Brian's mom and dad, minor characters? No, because Brian talking about them, like sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Right. And that's kind of a good question. If a character is talking about another character, are they characters? Mm. I don't know. It's a, I've never thought about that before. Not exactly, right? Um, so I probably would not call them characters either. Um, okay, so in your groups, I'm going to put you in two groups. Um, two groups with four people in each group who are reading different books. So um, in each group, you'll have, I think, about two people who are reading Number of the Stars, one person reading Hatchet, and one person reading either Wonder or Little House on the Prairie, because we have four different books that people are reading. Most people chose Number of the Scar Stars, or half of you chose Number of the Stars. Um, so I'm going to put you in groups with different um, books. Okay, so can you remember these two questions? Um, let's see, actually I'm gonna ask two people to be leaders and that might help us. Um, uh, Rahim, can you be the leader of one group? Yeah. And so I want you to ask these questions. Are you awake? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. What is the setting of your novel? Okay, that's yeah. the first question. Who are the, the characters? Who is the character in the novel? Okay, so you, if you can lead that discussion, that would be great. And the other person I want to lead is Bashir. Are you there? Yeah. Okay, Bashir, can you lead the other group with these two questions? What is the setting of your novel? For everybody will answer. And who are the characters in your novel? Everybody will answer. It's nice to have a leader because then somebody is, is uh, helping the discussion keep going, right? Yep. Okay, awesome. So I'm gonna put you guys in your groups right now. Um, and I'm gonna create this. So this will take a second. We have, I'm gonna put Monica, Nan, Bashir, you'll be the leader of this one. And Nesrain, you'll be in one group. And Abdul Malik, Joanna, Omar, Rahim, and Rindala, you'll be in the second group. Okay, so I'm gonna give you about 10 minutes. Um, you can talk about other things as well. Obviously these questions are kind of short, but I want everybody to answer the questions and then you can also talk about you know, your book. Do you like it, not like it? How's it going? So Bashir and, uh, and Rahim, um, you can keep the conversation going with other questions, okay? This will be a good challenge for you. <laughs> All right, here you go, and I will visit you in your rooms. You can join your room. Omar, are you there? Omar, you're not there. Are you there? I don't hear you. Allison, remember you're supposed to be here at 9.30. Yeah, uh, I was here trying to go in. <laughs> what? You know, I, I, I tried to... You tried to join? Yeah, I tried to join the, the class, but it hadn't started, so I went to do something when I came. Oh, yeah. yes, I did see that. You joined it early. Yes. Okay. Well, you, that's because I didn't start it until about 9.25, but. Oh. 
get <laughs> you have to wait until 930 or 920 925 930 the class starts at 930 oh and but, you can see that if someone tried to join the class I can yeah it tells me that you tried to join I don't know where it is but somewhere I'm gonna put you in a breakout group uh, Allison we're talking about um, the books that you're reading your number of the mm -hmm. stars book and um, so I'll put you in the group and you'll hear the questions from the person who's leading the group. Let me see, okay. put you in, um, I'm gonna put you in group one. Okay, so click join when you see that on your screen. Okay. Thank you. My uh, about the minor characters. I'm lucky because I only have one character in the story. <laughs> in my book, like they have a uh, too many characters. I think we can go back to the. I'm just listening to see how you're doing. You're not talking very much. I just finished. Okay, Bash, you can ask another question. Ask about how the book's do going. How's your reading? Do you like I it? Did. You did. Okay. Yeah. Well, they said, and I asked how many pages they start reading. <laughs> okay, that's good. Um, they answer all the questions. I answer the question and they ask me and I ask myself and I answer. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I'm going to, um, um, find something else to talk about for a couple minutes. I'm going to join the other group and make sure they're doing okay. So everybody <laughs> should be talking. <laughs> you guys are so quiet because you don't know each other very well. This is your chance. I mean, if you want me to come with you to the next group, I will. <laughs> no, 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 that's okay. 
I'll be, I'll close your group in a few minutes, but uh, talk about some other aspects of your book. How are you doing? How does it have? Okay. And I have a 315 in my book. That's cheating. Do you have 15, so you have to read like 40, 40 pages every week? Uh, 56 every week. 53. 56? Oh my god, that's too much. Yeah, but you have to correct that. It's not a 310. What do you that mean? Pages. 315? Yeah, you cheated on me. You have five more. <laughs> Um, Maybe it was introduction. <laughs> Rahim chose that book, by the way. He wanted to read it, so. <laughs> <laughs> and Rendala, you're only you're reading only 50, 20 minutes a, a week. You should be choosing a longer. I told book. her we should switch, but she didn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> it's your choice. No, anyway. I'm reading more because it's interesting. So I just keep reading. I don't look at the time. Well, you'll probably be finished with it before six weeks, Rendala, and then you'll have to read another book after that. <laughs> yeah. I'll read the, the first one, number, number of stars. I think you would like that. So if you, if you do finish your book and you, you, know, and you want to keep mind. reading, then just you know, read another one. Okay. Usually my students don't do that, but you can if you want to, because I think you're a fast reader. Um, Joanna, how is your book going? Mm, I just like it. And you're reading um, Number of the Stars? Yeah. Okay. I wrote this down here. Yes. Okay. And did you figure out the setting of Number of the Stars? Do you guys figure that out? Yeah, it's yes, in, the, in Denmark. Denmark. Yeah. Denmark, right? Yeah. Well, Jen, Joanna should know because she's reading the book. <laughs> Yeah. It even says on the top. On the top, it says yeah. in... Uh, that, that's so weird. <laughs> You're right. Denmark, and is it in the city or in the in the country? Like out in the out in the farmland? Do you wanna? Uh, is it taking place in the city or in the, in the outside of the city? I think in the city. But I'm not right. Sure. Yeah. yeah, because you read the first chapter, right? And they were yeah. playing on the street and they were running on the sidewalk and they live in an apartment. So, mm -hmm. so those things tell you that it's a city, right? Yeah. You'll see later in the book, they travel outside of the city and oh, okay. there'll be another place they go. But I won't tell you anything else about that. Abdul Malek, <laughs> um, how are you? And what I, did you start reading your book? Because I don't think I got any homework from you. No, Miss. I guess I would read it. <laughs> and I don't think I got a test from you either, so I'm a little worried about your. Yeah, Miss, can we talk about it after class? Yes, we can. So stay after, and we'll talk. Okay, right. I'm going to close this group, and we'll come back to our main class.